coming back for just a second to the purpose question of Thomas, um, I'd like to have your view on the following. Often, you know, purpose, the word purpose has become kind of a hype as well, right? Um, right, right. A lot of non-purpose companies are also trying to, well, non-purpose driven companies are also trying to define a purpose. Uh, yeah. maybe not always with the, 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 for the best reasons. Um, and when I'm reflecting on purpose, I'm feeling that it could be perfectly possible that as a company, your purpose is either directed inwards, like for example, at this stage, make, where you say course, we yeah. want our purpose is to create a platform that allows our employees to become entrepreneurs and set their own business um, in the world. Um, but a purpose could also be directed outward, like a, a, a certain market where you want to contribute. Or the third level, I think, is even more esoteric, is like you want to you want to change the world, you know, it's at a more right. universal level. And for yeah. me, it doesn't matter. I mean, it needs to be authentic, but it doesn't matter at which, where, where you focus, whether it's inward, outward, or even, even broader than that. What's your take on that? No, I, I think it's, um, it, it, it's, it becomes a kind of a, um, existential question at some point, right? Um, and, and it needs to be something that, you believe in and that's basically the most important thing um i do th there's a um th this idea of, of having an inward versus outward focus is actually very interesting and I, I know for a fact that make uh over the years have have predominantly been very inward focused we've been very um uh keen, keen, keen observers of our own faults i was going to say um uh we, we're very aware of what's going on internally but not necessarily what's what's going on externally whereas um if you want to affect change in the world, by definition, you need to look at the world. And so, so that's actually part of the reason that brought us to Renden Hui as well, um, was to make sure that we actually uh, brought this uh, idea, concept, uh, notion into our organization to saying that we, we need to be uh, much more aware of what's going on around us and build an organization that is um, able to handle the complexity that exists in the outside world because again if we are going to have not just one offering but many different offerings we need to have an organization that can accommodate that uh, and and that is uh, ashby's law first law cybernetics it, it's it's you can geek out on this for, for hours but it's it that balance is very hard to strike and it takes a while to move from from a to b or Absolutely. But uh, just to be clear, uh, uh, Andreas, for me, it was fascinating to hear you talk first, and that is what distinguishes you from others, from my point of view. In the first moment, when asked about purpose, you talk about your people, and you talk about making entrepreneurs out of our people. And I... I didn't have now the feeling that, that you are not looking towards the outside world, but what my feeling was, wow, this is, I mean, there are a million companies who talk about their customers, actual customers or proposed customers. You are talking in the first place about your own people. And that is something uh, which I find impressive. And that is something yeah, which I, I haven't heard so far.